300 students have occupied the sixth floor of a building at Auckland University in protest over student fee hikes, the voluntary student membership bill and the erosion of democracy on campus. The students stormed the foyer of the ONG Glen building at about 2 p.m., occupying the sixth floor and blockading the doors. In a press release issued by the students, they said they were protesting increasing corporatism at universities across the country. Tropical Storm Felipe Public Advisory Felipe moving northwestward over the eastern Atlantic. Hurricane Hillary Public Advisory Powerful Hillary continues moving westward. This page has been recently filtered. See the watermark? Four reports of tornadoes, but one of them just removed, or downgraded. Here are the tornado reports, and damage. Trained weather spotter reported tornado on the ground along Township Road just west of Cleveland. Substantial damage reported in the Stanton subdivision. Train spotter reporting tornado on the ground in Benoit. 60-70 mile per hour winds estimated in Cleveland. Power reported out. A fire engulfed all buildings, including the departure and arrival terminals, at Wamena Airport Complex in Jaya Wajaya, Papua, early on Monday morning. It is not yet known what caused the fire, but it was reported to have started at around 2.30 a.m. NYPD has anti-aircraft capability. Ten years after the September 11th attacks on the World Trade Center, Police Commissioner Raymond Kelly said the NYPD now has the capability to take down a plane if necessary. In a 60 Minutes interview that airs on CBS Sunday night, Kelly said the department's counterterrorism unit is prepared to thwart an oncoming plane if it's deemed a threat. Well, it's something that's on our radar screen, Kelly told Scott Kelly of the new show. I mean in an extreme situation, you would have some means to take down a plane. He did not elaborate on what methods the NYPD would use but a police source said, NYPD aviation has weapons that could be deployed with that capability. Kelly discussed the precautions made before the General Assembly meeting of the United Nations this week. Lady Gaga and Facebook Cuddlup? According to Chris and Welker, a NBC News correspondent, Lady Gaga at fundraising event with POTUS at home of Facebook COO Sheryl Sandberg. Rare water spout outbreak hits Lake Michigan. More possible today? The west side of Lake Michigan put on an impressive water spout show on Saturday for residents of the Chicago and Milwaukee areas, who saw dozens of the final clouds and captured the outbreaks on photo and video. Lake Michigan could turn up isolated water spouts again today, the Grand Rapids National Weather Service office said in its hazardous weather and near-shore marine forecasts. Stadium-sized Angry Birds game controlled by crowd noise. Given their meteoric success on mobile devices so far, it's no surprise that Rovio's Angry Birds franchise is headed for bigger things. But it's possible that no one really expected those bigger things to mean a giant version of the game played by crowd interaction at a Formula One racetrack this weekend. Huge ancient Roman shipyard unearthed in Italy. A large Roman shipyard has been uncovered. An ancient port in Rome called Portus, researchers reported. They found the remains of a massive building, dating to the second century where ancient ships were likely built close to the distinctive hexagonal basin, or harbor, at the center of the port complex. Few Roman imperial shipyards have been discovered and, if our identification is correct, this would be the largest of its kind in Italy or the Mediterranean. I don't know how this can be claimed is mass hysteria, but this article states, mystery illness plagues Asian factories. Researchers from the United Nations recently met in Cambodia to solve the mystery of why large numbers of female workers in that nation have succumbed to an unknown and temporary illness. Over a thousand workers have experienced similar episodes since June. And it is touted, strangely, that the most likely explanation is mass hysteria, also mass sociogenic illness. 
an American-owned battery plant in Shanghai will remain shut until the end of the year over fears it has caused lead poisoning in local children, the Shanghai Daily reported on Friday. New study links high BPA level with type 2 diabetes. Local doctors found a high level of bisphenol A, or BPA, in blood can increase the risk of type 2 diabetes. The discovery was published in the latest issue of Annals of Internal Medicine published in the United States. Positive forensic evidence has surfaced indicating that the E. coli super strain that recently ravaged Europe was created by humans. Science has proved that the bacteria is resistant to eight different types of antibiotics and possesses DNA sequences from plague bacteria, a combination utterly unprecedented in nature, which has many authorities theorizing it was created in a lab and, either released purposefully with, perhaps, the intent to control global food and health, or released accidentally into the food supply. Another power outage Sunday the 25th and into the 26th of September. Winds are blamed for power outages across Puget Sound region. Gusting fall winds caused scattered power outages across the Puget Sound region early Sunday, leaving some 12,000 people in Queen Anne, Magnolia and parts of Seattle Center without electricity Sunday afternoon. Neighborhood terrified by mysterious shaking. Adrienne Hooker doesn't feel safe at home. Her Blount County neighborhood has a problem. It shakes. For two days, the house rocks every few hours. It can sound like an explosion. She describes it like this, tiny earthquakes, makes the whole house shake it makes everyone wake up if they're sleeping. They've called the U.S. Geological Survey, but no earthquakes have been reported. They thought it might be condition at a nearby house, but the Blount County Sheriff's Office checked. Another dead end. 